it took me a while to put anything out, but I feel like I have to speak on this. Nipsey Hussle, I was introduced to his music around the late 2000, like 2010, 2012, somewhere around there. My son introduced me to him. And I checked him out. You know, I was listening to French Montana at the time, but I checked Nip out. And I, I, I like what he was he was saying and I like his message. There's a there's a lot, a lot of good, a lot of good that you could take away from Nipsey Hussle's life while he was here on this planet. Nipsey, as we all we've heard all the stories, he brought the he brought the together a community. You know, the bees and the seas, he, he brought them together. You know, you saw last time I checked video, YG, Nipsey. Um, that that video is a classic. The whole Grammy nominated album that he put out, Victory Lap. Nipsey was on the top of his game. I, I don't think anybody can dispute that. But the biggest takeaway that any one of us can take away from Nipsey, especially if you're a young rapper or a young business entrepreneur, anyone that's working to be anything. Nipsey didn't talk about doing things. He put his money where his mouth was. And I think that was that was huge. Watching him and seeing him put his money he was, where his mouth was. He was talking about assets 15 years ago. He was talking about investing 15 years ago and that's what he did. You know, we don't know we don't know what he did for what he didn't do, but we saw what he was doing. He was he was in the community, he was showing love, he was giving love, and he was definitely trying to help those who were having it hard. I, I commend Nipsey, everything he did. As far as up trying to uplift where he was from, trying to uplift his community, trying to show love, giving love, and never forgetting where he came from. I can go on for days talking about Nip, but the one thing, and something else I took away from Nipsey, right? Nipsey Hustle, is Nipsey, he read. He had a line, he has a line in one of his songs, I believe it's Mailbox Money, he talks about when preparation meets opportunity. And if anybody who reading or who, who's read would understand what preparation and opportunity presents, you become lucky. So I know he read a lot. I, I know he read probably some Rich Dad, Poor Dad, because I, I could hear some of the, the, the information in there. Um, historically, I mean, he put out a mixtape for $100. That was unheard of. Unheard of, a hundred, a $100 mixtape. And he stuck by his, 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 his guns, and he definitely, he got that, and I think that's something that people will always remember, is that, he believed in what he was doing. And when you give him quality and you're, 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 you're giving the right message and you're, you're, give, you're telling people to better themselves and, and how they can better themselves. He talked about health. He talked about wealth. He talked about Dr. Sevy. I know the conspiracy theories and all that stuff around there. He talked, he, he said he messed with Rick Ross because Rick Ross deals with wealth. So I mean, I love Nipsey, and to me, he'll probably be a great example as a blueprint for giving back and building in the community.